I ain't never drop a dime. You ain't take nothing from me in the hood or anything. Hey. I'm good. What I say? I'm a boss. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. Do you feel yourself to that? Nah, I'm okay. Uh, He's in the high sometimes. Uh, Len, How you doing, Lenny? Lenny, I'm good. Ready for what? Talk to our people. I'm make that off. Testing, test. It's not on. It's not on. It is. It's not on. Test, test, test. You on now. You, you, you good. You don't need no mic. I'm going to need no mic. No, you don't I need, need no, mic. no mic. You don't need no mic. Uh, okay, baby. The mic needs you. Cool. I need you. I read that in a book one day. Remember, I said, it's heat. Bye. Hey, you guys. It's pretty warm. It is sweet. Charming joke. <laughs> and we are the DMV's newest podcasters. What's the name of our podcast? Evolution of Us. Oh, okay. Don't forget it. Don't Evolution forget of it. Us. I'm going to say it again. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. One more time. Evolution uh, of us. Evolution of us. Evolution of some stuff. No, 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 no. <laughs> evolution <laughs> of us. That's not both stuff. Some stuff. But yes, we are the new DMB podcasters, and we're coming to you with real topics. Money, relationships. All of it. Yes, likes and dislikes. Um, so tough that like button. Go ahead, comment, man, subscribe. Let us know what y'all feel. Give us some interesting topics to cover let us know man we're here for you guys we serve you guys we serve the people yeah yeah it makes sense yep what are we talking about today talking about money i need some of that isn't it what you're just rapping about just now and getting through yeah, it's a song you know you know scared money don't make no money I'm like everybody else i, just, I rap it i don't live it if i ever go broke you need to even cast a joke I'm sorry, say it again. It's all right. It's okay. Tell it again. It's okay. It's okay. We <laughs> have one time to catch the joke. If you don't catch it, I can go off. I'm sorry. You can't tell two, the same joke twice. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, no, it is. I swear. It's not weird. Yeah, this sound a lot faster. Listen a little hard. slow. Listening, talking. I know. Maybe talking. Yeah, it's hard being cute. It's hard being cute. But y'all know what time it is. What time is it? A shot o'clock. Take a shot if you. Love, love yourself. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. And I love myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, we gotta start putting water in there. I can like this liquor because this is too lush for me. Yo, you're gonna start <laughs> pouring a shot because you a little heavy. Have a hand. You a little heavy. You a little heavy hand. <clears throat> I'm starting some water. Oh, woo! Your little hair shit. I ain't dog. I got it. Um, it was a little. One more time. Let's try one more time. A little time. But that. It's real new. You know that. Anyway. But yeah, finances. Is something that's very important. An important. Know how to save money. Where to put your money. How to share money. How to share money. How to make money. That's ultimately the most important. It's how to receive it. When to spend it. When to spend it. How to spend it. Yeah. Um, I think most people have the mentality of, you know, especially the ones who make it. I'll spend it. I'll get it back. And I'll work a job. Yeah. However, you you know, your money's coming in. I have a pension. I get a check every month. I have it. Yeah. Next month is coming. Two weeks is coming. You know what I'm saying? I'll be straight. And that's why... I, 99% of everyone work for the other 1% because of that mentality. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't write it back. Spirit check, I'm gonna get it right back. You know, everybody wanna look like a rapper or a dope boy, you know? And yeah. it's not realistic or a basketball player. And it's not realistic because most of us don't look that kind of income. And it's funny what you just said just now. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to live like a rapper. Everybody wants to you know, live like a ball player. Mm -hmm. Why don't we invest in ourselves? Like we make all this money, right? We make income at our job. Right. Are we really drained from the nine to five? Right. Or do we just get home and we're like, I don't really want to like invest in myself, which right. is really weird to say like, oh, I don't want to, I don't, well, don't want to invest in myself. Like I'm just working this job. I'm gonna just 
buy the candles mm-hmm. and the pots and pans I like and the decor and take me a little trip. Right. I don't really, I don't feel like taking my extra money in it. Do we say that to ourselves or we just do it unconsciously? We don't. I mean, we never. We never admit anything to ourselves. And be it. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem. Like, we never really say things for what it is. You know, I want to give or give, receive what the man think I deserve after five days of hard labor. Right. Um, some of y'all not working at your job, but still, anyway, you still get paid the same amount. Doesn't matter how hard or how less you work. Right. And we take those two days on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Right. And we live, we attempt to live the life that we really want to live seven days a week. Right. As opposed to in reinvesting in ourselves on those days off. So that you eventually can actually live the lifestyle that you want to live yeah. seven days a week. Right. And I think most people, you know, it becomes, it's first of all, it's lack of knowledge. Um, my people perish because of the not, lack of knowledge. Just not knowing how to. Uh, secondly, is definitely, it's probably, the, it should actually be number one because I think discipline is by far the most important thing that most people just do not have. We overconsume, yeah. we overpurchase, yeah. we overdrink, we oversmoke, yeah. we oversleep. Yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to be up at eight o'clock this morning. What happened? You overslept. And we overdo everything. We do nothing in moderation. And I think that's, uh, I think the biggest problem in the community. I think the overconsumption of anything. Yeah. This is a consumer market, and most people are consumers. Babe, why are you talking about me like that? Like, I'm sorry, girl. You're talking, I, I you gotta just get talking it. all about me. If I see me, it, like... I gotta get it. If I see it, I gotta get it. But that's okay, <laughs> because you're already ahead of everyone else because you know that is who you are. You're saying, hey, this is me. <laughs> this is who I am. Now, how do I fix it? Literally. And right. it's okay to admit, like, hey, I don't want to invest in myself. Right, yeah. I just don't feel like it. Exactly. I don't feel like it. Mm-hmm. If you can admit it that to yourself, work. yeah. It's not a work. But one work. Exactly what you just said. What are you gonna do mm-hmm. to change that? Right. The sacrifices. The sacrifices of now going out every weekend and and the nice weather outside. Oh, I want to take a trip. Oh, really? You know, with some of us have to borrow money or find money or even mm-hmm. build money to just take a trip to live and to make it seem like we have our life all together. Yeah. And we don't. Yeah. And that's sometimes. Uh, well, most of the time, you know, ill-advised. Right. Absolutely. I would not advise that at all. Okay. Um, but how do we start, I think, is the, the ultimate question right now. How we start is by, A, like you just did, mm-hmm. being accountable mm-hmm. for our actions, our, ourselves, mm-hmm. coming out with our hands up, saying, this is who I am. Right. You know, this is who I am. I'm not going to act a like consumer. I'm not. I'm a consumer. I consume everything. Mm-hmm. Everything. Yeah. You know, if I see it, I like it, I'm going to buy it. And we have to just literally start to make sacrifices. And I think what's going to help us do that is being around like-minded people. Now, not like-minded in the sense of who you are, who, what your mentality is now, but like-minded in the sense of where I want to be. Right. So I want to talk to the person okay. who spends like I do. Right. I want to talk to the person who saves like I need to. Right. Right. Those are the kind of friends I want to have in my circle. Those are the kind of people I want to I want to attract myself right. uh, to. And I think the surroundings, because we are products of our environments, is just, just that simple. The music we listen to, our friends, our family, our coworkers, what we see on Instagram, uh, we consume that. Right. And we see the vast majority living like this. Right. Right. Not knowing their stories, not knowing whether or not they have it, because on Instagram, everybody's in the lead, man. Right. I haven't seen a poor person yet go Instagram. I'm telling you. Everybody got it. Everybody's straight out the box. Everybody <laughs> off the bat. All, everybody's an influencer. Everyone owns all these properties. Everyone owns all these cars they're posting in front of, posing in front of. Yep. Everyone owns all of this jewelry. Everyone's yeah. at all these restaurants. And I did not know it was that many rich people in the world. Man. I had no idea. I know. That everybody was rich. I think they should redo. I know they said like a 1% or whatever. Yeah, I think they, they, need, they need to re- reconstruct to, yeah. that study or re- redo that study. I think I think the 90% is working for the 99%. I don't think it's 1% anymore. I think everyone is rich now. Right. Yeah, so I believe that 
like I said, everyone's rich now. Everyone has all this money, all this disposable income. Um, but in reality, I'm talking to the people who are like, hey, I'm coming out. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm, this is how I'm living, you know, and I'm, I'm living paycheck to paycheck. Every time I look at my bank account, it has money in. Right. And every time I look at it after that, the money's gone. Like, right. How do I stop that cycle? Right. And that's something I want to bring out because it's something you have actually brought to light. Okay. For me, you tell me it's not about spending less and consuming less. I mean, yes, it is at some point, but it's about increasing your income. Okay. And you bring that up to me and it's like, wow, like, yeah, like it is about increasing your income. Right. It is. Why is it about increasing your income though? Well, let me, let me, um, add on to that because I tell you that, but I also tell you just because you increase your income, don't start spending more. Right. So it's increasing your income and then lowering your expenses at the same time. Right. Okay. Because like, yeah, like you increase your income and you spend the same amount of money. If you have the same habits, we'll just use all that, which is true. So you increase your income. And then you lower your liabilities, A, and you lower your, your expenses. And the best way to do that is to start living below your needs. So even if I can afford the $700 a month car, I'm going to get the car that's 300 bucks a month. I'm going to put down a vast majority um, as my down payment. My credit, your credit should already be great. Um, if it's not, stay tuned for an additional video. We'll talk about that. Um, but let's say your credit is already good. So your interest rate should be a lot lower. Right. Once I get my interest rate lowered, mm -hmm. I put down a lot of money. I'm working toward paying that car off. Cars are already liabilities anyway, if you're not utilizing them for a business purpose. Right. So in that regard, um, me living below my, my means, I'm good now. Because now I really can't afford it. And the money that I would have been spending for the car I really want, now I'm saving that amount of money. Now let's stop right there for a second because... I like where this is going, like living below your means, right? right? But I don't want to like live below the means of what I already consume. I don't want to cut down on what I consume. I just right. don't want to add to it, right? right? Like I still want to be able to get my nails done for the same amount I did before. I still want to be able to buy my candle, mm -hmm. get my hair done, Whatever it is, woman, mm -hmm. um, cooking items, whatever, home decor, I still want to be able to do that. Right. I've incre now I have a more of an income. My mm -hmm. salary's gone up, but I still have the same habits. I don't want right. to add anything else, mm -hmm. but I want to continue with the same habit. Okay. Right. Right. That's possible. It is. Yeah. Or I still need to cut back on the candles. Like, hey, I like to buy five candles a month. Do I need to buy three now? Right. Do I still have to cut back on my bad habits? Right. Um, with the increase? Yeah, yes. Actually, yes, I would say that. Okay. I would say the more money you make, the more you should figure out how to spend. Or the, or the more you should figure out how can I spend less. Right. I still got to cut back so make more. The more you make, the more you should be cutting off. Right. Bop, 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 bop. Until you get to a place where you're saving the vast majority of everything you're bringing in. Right. And then afterward, obviously investing and living off the money uh, from your investments and all of that. But we're talking about people who just make earn income. That's all they, they have. They don't have right. any passive. It's only grind. Right. right. So it's money that they work for. You exchange time. You get a paycheck. Right. That's a good way to start. Mm -hmm. Right. And you should start that very early. Right. Very as early as possible. A lot of good books. Oh, I'm getting around people who who do, who do that. Understanding the mentalities of people who live and operate that way right because a lot of people do right we don't know it because we're in the communities and we, we only see everyone spending right but you know what you have to understand is everybody that's spending they're spending it on a brand operated owned and ran by someone who didn't spend yeah exactly so if you can kind of like dig and cut apart their mentality it can help you kind of figure out where you're headed okay well, here's my next question. I got a lot of questions. Oh, well, I'm a getting, you know I'm a getting to it with them because you know, shot. like he's he's real smart and good with numbers. So I'm about to, I'm about to get it. Okay. So silly. <laughs> you know, Joe, I heard what you said earlier, and I want to I want to surround myself with 
people that are not like me. Right. You know, but you know, birds of a feather flock together. I can't really get in that circle. two ducks in a row. What? Duck, duck, goose. That's not exactly what I had in mind, but we'll go over that. I'm sorry, baby, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead, I'm sorry. But no, like, I'm coming to you. It made sense. If I'm coming to you and I'm like, yeah, man, you know, I'm more of a street guy. Like, mm -hmm. let's just keep it simple. I'm more of a street girl, I'm more of a street guy. Um, and two things. I want to be around more of those type of people that right. are bringing that more of that salary, you know, whether it's a corporate setting, you know, whatever. Right. They're entrepreneurs, they have their own business. I want to be around right. that. Right. First, I feel like I can't get into that circle. I don't know where to look. Right. I don't know where to go to find that. Right. Two, I'm not comfortable okay. around people like that. Right. I'm a slang type of girl. I like to, you know, keep it who I am. I like to keep it real. Like. How do I, A, find those groups? And make the transition. And then B, how do I make myself in the appearance of feeling comfortable and feeling comfortable? Well, nothing worth having is me. It's processed, first of all. Why? Right. So it's not about what you feel in the moment. It's about going through and eventually you'll start to feel more and more comfortable in those settings. But A, you have to first place yourself in those settings. Okay. Okay. Now we're hanging out at Fridays on a Friday night. Right. You know, and whatever your local your local city is. Right. Not saying that they're not in there, but chances are they're probably not. Right. Um, and let's 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 forget about people because sometimes it's hard to find the person. And if I find the person, how do I make the introduction? Right. Like what exactly. is it? Like what do I like, think? Hey, how you doing? Did you get a lot of money? I want to learn. It's the same numbers. <laughs> right. I want to make money. Are you Don't a millionaire? Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> but it starts with books. Right. Like read. Read. Bold. It took this person 30, 40 years to teach you everything they know. And they wrote it on a few pages. And all you have to do is buy it and read it. And you now now you're almost just as smart as they are. Okay. Now you consumed everything they had to learn mm -hmm. in the last 30 years. Okay. So you have to first start to read to familiarize yourself with how they think. Okay. Okay. How does this person think? Right. I want to get to the next level. Okay. The person on the next level, how do they think? Okay. Okay. What do they value? Right. What kind of people do they have around them? Mm -hmm. And sometimes your answers are in the book. Mm -hmm. Okay. When they felt like, or when they were where I, where I was, how do they make that transition? 